Now here's a game that hopefully won't suck. Boo. Come on. I'm Will Strickland, welcome to Glitched. For those who watch the weekly wrap up, this news might sound a bit familiar. On Tuesday of this week, publisher Bandai Namco announced a new game that's in the works. Last Thursday, the publisher released a teaser trailer that had us all on the edge of our seats begging for more. The teaser itself was filled with a fast paced score, a gorgeous art style, and gave us a look into a dark world full of blacks, whites, and reds. Like last time, we will put a link in the description below because words do not do this trailer justice. Along with the teaser, the company announced that they will be making a big reveal on April 20th, but two days ahead of schedule, the news was published in this week's issue of Japanese gaming magazine Famitsu. The information was then translated by Gamatsu. Quick disclaimer, all this information was translated by a third party source, albeit a reputable one, so if any information is off, we do apologize. Now let's get down to the dirty details. We'll start with the name, Code Vein. Code Vein will be a new dungeon exploration type hard RPG, developed by the team that created God Eater and Unreal Engine 4. The new title is set to release in 2018, but no official date or platforms have been announced at this time. The game itself is set in the near future and everything has gone to crap. You will play as a Revenant, which are vampires with supernatural powers that you will be using to work with others and take on the truth of the world. Sounds like a real righteous purpose, right? Revenants are beings that have transcended humanity and lost most of their memories in the process. They all live in a society called Vane in order to survive. If a Revenant goes without blood, they will turn into a Lost. We don't have a lot of information on what the Lost are, other than they're just some kind of monster. An emphasized feature of the game is the buddy system. In dungeons, you can bring along one other partner. This system is meant to be used to help players overcome challenges that they might give up on if you were playing a hard game by yourself, giving players a greater sense of accomplishment in the long run. Buddies will also be able to act on their own, but the player might need to intervene to help them out. As for combat, the Revenants use close range weapons like swords, but other weapons like hammers and spears will also appear in the game. Some other terms mentioned in the piece include Blood Veil and the special ability Tempered Blood. Blood Veil is described as a piece of Revenant equipment that sucks up lost blood. It looks like clothing and can also be used as armor, but has a mechanism that appears when blood sucking is happening. At the time of said sucking, there's a change to the user's mass that is described as ominous. Tempered Blood is an action that can be used after blood is successfully sucked via the Blood Veil and uses the blood obtained from the Lost. There are different types of actions that can be used, like strengthening yourself, making enemies weaker, and performing direct attacks. The worldwide release of this information is still set for this Thursday, but until then, this is all we have to go on. Trust me when I say we will be keeping up with this game here at Glitched. At the time of writing, the team has said that the game is about 35% complete, but we should begin a gameplay trailer early this May. Who else is excited to hear about this new property? Let us know in the comments down below. Let's just hope that these vampires don't sparkle. Remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all your gaming and tech news. This is Glitched, I'll see you next time. And Mateo, no booing, unless it's genuine. <laughs> unless you're real passionate about it. Ha <laughs> ha!